wanted to be a judge who knows just what is right and wrong and be good and be strong and on my swan up in the air I'm flying searching for justice can't you see me trying But because I am a good liar, I know what we can do. Let's hear the judge. Yes, because only our friend Klaus can solve it. I hear the wisdom coming from the gnomes now. And all together we have got the know-how. Because we are people of peace. I'm almost finished sketching you. Don't move now. If you two want to be in the picture, you better stand still. I'll take this back to the office and put on the finishing touches. Bye. See you later. <sighs> Judge? <coughs> Judge, where are you? I'm right here, Danny. What happened? Where have you been? I'm sorry I'm late, Your Honor. Should we start getting ready for the trial tomorrow? Forget about that now. Right now, you have to help me with something much more important. <laughs> oh, that's right, Judge. I've been so busy with my drawing lately that it completely slipped my mind that I told you I'd help you organize your legal files. No, it's not the files. I am looking for one of my books, and I need your help to help me find it. A book? Sure, I'd be happy to help you. Tell me which one, and maybe I know where it is. It's the one that contains the documents of, uh, what was the name of that case? Ah, yes, now I remember it. The case of the stolen mirror. Hmm. It's not here. Uh, or here? What was it again? The case of the stolen mirror. Mm hmm. Is this it? Here it is. Why, I'd lose my own head if it wasn't attached. <laughs> Everyone loses things. What's so special about this matter? The case revolves around a mirror which is over 3,000 years old, and it belonged to the family of Totem Haraldson of Australia. The mirror was made of pure gold and silver. Precious gems embellished its frame. It was said the mirror had the ability to show the future. One day, when Totem's niece was cleaning it, she left the mirror unguarded for a moment, and some magpies, who were attracted by the brilliance of the mirror, snatched it up and took it away with them to their nest. Oh. Oh. You can imagine how the poor girl felt. Oh. Then my good friend Totem wrote me a letter telling me all about the problem. That was well over 50-some years. I went to Australia and spoke to the magpies, and they agreed to return the mirror to Totem. But when the magpies took us to their nest to retrieve the mirror, they discovered that it had been stolen while they were gone. We never knew who took it, and we never saw it again. What a peculiar story, Judge. And you never found out who took the mirror? No, not the faintest idea, Danny. But this morning I received this letter saying that someone may have seen the mirror on the Isle of Tempest, and up till now, that's our only clue. Hmm. And you think whoever took the mirror is on the Isle of Tempest? Yes. Where exactly is this Isle of Tempest located? I've never even heard of it. Well, in fact, it is a rocky and uninhabited small island. It is close to Australia. Well, what are we waiting for, Your Honor? We should leave right away. First, we'll go to Australia. I want to see my friend Totem. You want to see Totem? What for? He knows the area and has a map of the island. Great! I'd just love to see Australia. When are we leaving? Mm, why not right now? Why not? Let's go find Henry. I don't know why, Judge Klaus, but something tells me this is going to be one of our most exciting adventures. 
Australia is very pretty. We'll have plenty of time to enjoy it later, but first we have to concentrate on why we're here in the first place. Let me see. If memory serves correctly, it's on the right. Henry, head west. Daddy! Oh! It's just that I got distracted seeing those strange animals jump. Those aren't strange animals, those are kangaroos. Henry, we've arrived, go down, here. Go down here with all those kangaroos? Those kangaroos are harmless, they won't bother you. Besides, the Australian gnomes use them for transportation. They look like giant jumping mice. I don't see how they can use them for transportation. You'll find out firsthand, my boy. Hey, Klaus, down here. Good day and welcome to Australia, mates. I'm Totem Jr. My father wasn't able to greet you. However, he has told me a lot about you, Judge Klaus. He asked me to tell you we saw sorry and to take you to him. Thank you. You're very kind to ask, Totem. This is Danny, my assistant. How is your father? Very well, considering that he is over 385 years old. Well, Klaus and Danny, are you ready to start the journey? We're ready, thank you. You two can come along with me and your swan can follow. I know you've traveled a very long time and I'm sure your swan won't mind flying without toting all your weight for a while. We're going to be traveling with my good friend Jimmy here. Hey, Jimmy! Here! Ooh! Uh, uh, uh. Hey, no reason to be alarmed, Danny. There's nothing to be scared of. Jimmy's a good bloke, aren't you, Jimmy? Hop in! Here! Uh, give me your hand, Danny! Mm. This is great. How did you manage to put this pouch on this kangaroo? We didn't put anything on the kangaroos, Danny. They're born with these pouches to carry their young. So you see, my friend, we really had nothing at all to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Jimmy. How do you like it? I feel like a milkshake. Jimmy's very swift. Did you enjoy the ride? Yes, very much. It was stupendous. And before I return home, I want to draw a picture of Jimmy to keep as a souvenir, if it's all right with him. Henry, you stay out here and rest, all right? Welcome to our house. Klaus! How are you, my old friend? Thank you for coming to Australia, Klaus. It is so wonderful to see you. Don't be silly. It's wonderful to see you again. Uh, this is my assistant and friend, Danny. <laughs> Please sit down. Good. Now that we're here, maybe you could shed some light on the information you have received, because I remember all too well the unsolved case of the stolen mirror. It all has something to do with the strange happenings that we are experiencing with our mysterious neighbors, the Island of Tempest. Mm. The island has had a strange history, Klaus. At one time, it was a paradise for gnomes. It was covered with a lush green forest. Gnomes lived under the trees and danced on the grass. The rain was warm and gnomes lived in peace and harmony. Until one dreadful day, some strange men arrived by ship and they cut down all the beautiful trees, causing all our brother gnomes to abandon their homes and flee the island. <laughs> there was a horrendous storm. Some lightning started a fire and the entire island burned to the ground leaving it a rocky and desolate island. It was awful, class. I think that whoever has the mirror in his possession is living there. I am sure of it. Yes, that's why I called. Don't worry, we will go and recover that mirror at once, or get lost, uh, trying. <laughs> <laughs> Since my father isn't feeling well enough to accompany you, I will go. He's given me a map and several useful items. Then we will leave early tomorrow morning. Henry will take us over. Oh, to my son, Klaus and Danny must be worn out from their journey. I think they should all go to bed and get some rest. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Good night. Good night, father. Good tomorrow. <clears throat> Good night. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be able to go to sleep just thinking about how exciting our adventure will be tomorrow. I can hardly wait. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing you, that is hard to believe. <sighs> yes, the truth is I'm awful tired. Good night. Um... Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, my little friends. It's really a wonderful morning today, just the way I like it. And I have a feeling that I'm going to do some great drawings here. There's the island of Tempest. <laughs> What's the matter? It looks to me like 
they've been frightened. It's on account that we're getting closer to the Tempest. In the last few years, nobody's dared to come near it. Everyone is scared. According to this map, the middle of the island is where the gnomes used to live before the great disaster. This is where they had all their homes, but now it's deserted. Henry, circle the area a few times before landing. I want to check out what is down there. What a bleak place. No wonder the seagulls were scared. It's terrible. I'll use the ten links to discover the mirror's location. What is that? Uh, Totem's father gave this to me. It's called the Chain of Ten Links. It is a special chain used only by gnomes of great wisdom to detect any metal on which we concentrate. This chain allows us to locate the metal. Exactly, and because the mirror is made of metal, if the three of us concentrate our thought on it, the chain will indicate to us on what part of the island it's located. Well then, let's all of us concentrate. It's starting to work. It is detecting the mirror. Henry, land here. This is stupendous. If I'm not mistaken, we're getting closer and closer to it. Oh, that beautiful mirror in such an ugly place. I just can't <laughs> stand the thought of it. There, there, Danny. I wouldn't fret if I were you. We'll find the mirror. Now, according to this map, we are on the south side of the island, right near the entrance of Oh, the that's cave. strange. I don't see the entrances anywhere. Maybe it was here, but with the passage of time, the sand has slowly walled it up. That certainly is a possibility, Danny. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, if the map is accurate, the entrance is right in front of me. Then what are you waiting for, mates? Let's remove the sand. Yep. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray, we found it. <sighs> I don't know. It seems this thing is locked up tighter than a drum. It's sealed shut. I don't think it can be opened up. What if the three of us try pushing it at the same time? Yes, why not? <laughs> this is impossible. This thing won't budge. <sighs> Listen, I was thinking that maybe there's another entrance somewhere else. What do you think, Judge? Is it possible? Yes. Why didn't I think of this before? These doors were built to protect the gnomes from evil men. The doors will open to someone who has truth in his heart. You mean you know the way to open these doors? How's that? Quite simple. It can be opened only by someone who always tells the truth, not lies. For example, are you afraid to go into the cave, Danny? Hmm? Mm, well, yes, I am, a little. And you, Totem, are you also afraid? I certainly am. <gasps> Look! Huh? How did that happen? You see what I mean? When someone in front of the door says what's really in his heart, the door opens up. Come on, let's go inside. Right now? Right now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Judge! What is it, Danny? How come, how come all the walls appear to be sparkling? Yes, they are special stones that glow. Our ancestor gnomes used to put them in caves to light the way. Hey, look at that long stairway. Do we have to climb all those stairs? Quiet, I think someone is coming. Shh, let's hide. The iron door was open. Someone must have gotten in. Hurry up, you idiots. What are you waiting for? Find them. It's spooky, that voice. That's enough to give you the cripes. What a hideous sound. That voice sounds familiar. I'm sure I've heard it, although that was many years ago. Yes, mistress. Yes, we'll mistress. find whoever it is. Right away, you worthy it is. We'll go. I'll catch you. I didn't expect to run into trolls here. There is something strange going on here. I don't understand why the trolls are blindly obeying her orders. They have the brine the size of a pea. What did you expect, Your Honor? That's true, they are stupid, but they are also very lazy, and they hate obeying anyone, including their own parents. There's something odd going on here, all right? I don't see them! Quiet, they're coming back. <laughs> oh my gosh! She's hideous, she looks like a witch. That face reminds me of someone. I know I've seen her before. What's taking you so long, you lazy stooges? Hurry up! Well, who was it? We didn't see anyone, your humbleness. Silence, you bunch of idiots. My mirror never lies. They have to be here. I warn you that if you try to fool me, you will be punished severely for it. Get it? Please, Please your ugliness, don't punish us. We're telling the truth. <laughs> Please, Please, your, your grumpiness, don't hurt us. <laughs> wow, I almost feel sorry for those trolls in her evil clutches. Hmm, that voice. And that face reminds me of, yes, that's who she is, Henrietta the Venom, so named because of her awful nature. She was thrown out of the land where she lived on account of her wicked doings. She has to be the one who stole the mirror. That explains everything. She must have come here with those trolls to hide herself on the island of Tempest. Well, the first thing I think we should find out is where she is keeping Father's mirror. Why don't I go upstairs and look around a bit? 
No, Danny, you must not go alone. You do not know her. Henrietta is a very dangerous woman. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Curses! Drat, all I see is fog at the bottom of this stupid, silly mirror. Hey, you took my hey, rule, you jerk. Give it back. It's fine. Hey, to me. Good work. Are there any more? No, just this one. I found him sneaking around the stairway. Take that miserable gnome with you and lock him up in a cage. Anyway, you worship. Silence, you idiot. Shut up at once. Oh. Huh? Sorry, Sorry, my, my mistress. <laughs> I shouldn't have let him go alone. If something happened to him, I'd never forgive myself. Yes, I'm also worried about Danny. He should have been back by now. What do you suggest that we do, Your Honor? If only someone could help us, but who? Unfortunately, there's no one but us. Mm -hmm. Hello, friend. Can you tell us what's been going on? Well, that's interesting. He says the trolls are under Henrietta's spell, and that is the reason that they obey her every wish. I knew that she had done something strange to them. If only we could return them to their normal condition, they would turn against that evil witch. Is that true? He says that she's taken away their memory, and that's why they do whatever she orders them to. Only one of them remembers anything. Could you please get him to come down here? <laughs> yes, this is a tougher spot than I ever imagined. That one troll is our only hope of ever getting out of this place in one piece. We have to put our entire future in the hope that that rat can coax the troll down here. Now, where is Danny? I don't feel like playing right now. I said I don't feel like it, and if you don't stop bothering me, I'm gonna squish you like a tomato. Now go away and let me get some sleep. Ah, uh, stick out your dirty little tongue at me, huh? Why, you, I oughta. Come here, you stinky little rat. I'll chop you up for rats, too. I'll slice you. I'll dice you. Come back here, you little... Huh? What the... What do you silly little gnomes think you're doing here? I'm going to smash you with my foot! Oh, don't do it. Just a second. We know your situation, Pat. We know that you're under a spell and we want to help you. Honestly? Yes. I want to get out of here. Be careful now. Lower your voice or Henrietta might hear you. Tell me something that has me confused. How is it that your brothers have lost their memory and you have not? Well, because they all drank that nasty drink Henrietta gave to them. That's how come they all became her slaves. And you see, I only drank a little bit of the drink because it tasted like old tires. I managed to throw it away without her seeing me do it. See what I mean? But if what you have told us is true and Henrietta does not have you under her spell, then why didn't you escape and leave this place? Because I'm scared of her powers. And besides, I couldn't just run away and leave my little brothers here. Now, don't worry. We're going to help you out. Just tell me one thing. Have you spotted another gnome with a red beard? My brother Pat caught him and Henrietta's got him locked up in a dark room. All right now, Pat. If you do what I tell you to do, you'll see everything will work out fine. Go upstairs and set Danny free. Tell him to get the mirror and then the two of you come right back here. Ah, uh, what if Henrietta wakes up and finds out that I let Danny go free? I don't want to think what she'd do to me. Uh, Pat, it would be better for you not to think about it and try to be careful not to make any noise, and that way you won't wake Henrietta up, all right? That's easy for you to say. All right, I'll try and convince myself that I'm not scared. I ain't scared, I ain't scared, I ain't scared, I ain't scared, I ain't scared. Yes, I am scared, and how? He's not the brightest troll. You think he'll be able to help us out, Judge? I don't know, Totem, but unfortunately at this point he is our only hope. <sighs> What do you want? Shh, be quiet. Don't be scared. Your friend sent me to set you free. They want you to get the mirror and take it on down to them. Thanks, Pat. We better go. We don't have a moment to lose. I need some 
help. No, I'm too scared. <sighs> Come on, don't be a chicken, Pat. I need your help. All right, I'll do it. Don't be so pushy. That's great. Let's go. Come on. Judge. Look, Totem, they did it. I got it. I ain't scared no more. I'm a brave one now. Of course you are. That was a very brave They act. got the mirror. What are we waiting for? Let's get out of here. And what about the trolls? We promised to help them. They're under a spell. Yes, help me to save my poor brothers. Henrietta is very mean and she's nasty. Yes, Pat has just saved my life. Now we have to do something for them as well. You're right, but how can we? We gave our word. Let's see what the mirror of the future shows us. Huh? Aha! So that's it. Our troubles are now over. The mirror has shown us the future and by doing so has solved our problem by showing us the solution. I see. Could you tell us more? It's really quite simple. The mirror has shown us what has to be done to bring the trolls back to their normal condition. Yes. Your brothers will soon find themselves free from the evil clutches of Henrietta. Yes. Danny, you and Totem grab the mirror and follow me. Whatever you say, Judge. Come on, Totem, let's go. Right. <laughs> All right. Here. All right, here's what you do. Take this stone upstairs to where your brothers are, and without Henrietta finding out, have each one smell this stone. The scent of it will return their memories to them, and they will be free of that witch's spell. Are you afraid, Pat? No, not at all, because I'm brave now. I'm very brave. The door just opened up. Did that happen because somebody here said something truthful? It wasn't anything that we had said. It was what Pat said. By admitting that he is no longer afraid, and by saying it very sincerely, he caused the iron door to open. So long, Pat. Goodbye and thanks. His courage improved his manners. Let's go. <clears throat> We're ready to take off, Henry. Whew, I'm glad to get out of that place. I'm a brave one. I ain't scared no more. Smell this pot. You too, Holler. Here, you pig. Uh, I'm confused where are we? What happened? We are all prisoners in the cave of that wicked witch, Henrietta. She gave us something very bad to drink. Mm, where is my mirror? Which one of you morons took it? Uh, I'm not afraid of you anymore. Your mirror was taken away by some gnomes. What do you think you're doing standing there like a pack of wild idiots? What are you waiting for? Go get those gnomes. Bring me back my mirror. Yes, Miss Grinch. We'll go get the mirror back for you right now. No! No, no we'll get the gnomes. She's our enemy, not the gnome. She put a spell on us so we would obey her like slaves. I don't want to obey her. She's not a nice person. You're bad news. I want to punch you. We'll beat you till you're good looking. People like you give witches a bad name. Don't you dare touch me. I'll... No! You can't control us anymore. Now we're brave and strong again and we have our memories back. And besides, trolls don't like to take orders from anyone. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, my good friend Klaus, and you too, son. Thanks to your efforts, the stolen mare has been returned at last to the family. By the way, where is Danny? I don't know. Did you see him? I don't know, Judge. I saw him outside a while ago. Danny! Danny! Look! Assume the same pose as before, Jimmy. Are you drawing Jimmy? Yes, I promised him that before we left, I'd draw his portrait to take with me as a souvenir. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Schnitz bites bye-bye. <laughs> In the next exciting episode, our friend Danny takes part in the winter races and wins first place. Klaus receives an invitation from his friends, the Mexican gnomes, where the judge learns firsthand about the famous Mexican pheasant races. Danny sings with a lovely senorita and a mariachi band and discovers the treasures of the piñata. But does he need a secret to win this race? Find out in their next adventure.